Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door, and I'm here at Myrtle Beach, South Carolina to bring you this episode of Nature at Your Door on the road. It's late October, and I'm here to do an episode on a shorebird that you have probably seen called the Willet. And there are West Coast Willets and East Coast Willets. And in this episode, I'm going to talk to you about the difference between them. And when there's a willet, there's a way. And the way they migrate is very, very unusual. So I'll try to explain that, some of the biology of these interesting birds that I know that you've seen. So stay tuned. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're going to find. I'm here with my 2019 self-made camper van that I converted from a cargo van into a fully outfitted camper. The willet is a relatively robust sandpiper-like bird about the size of a pigeon. Ornithologists like to compare birds they're describing with a bird that most people will see commonly, for example, like a pigeon. Willets have long legs and a long bill and a short squared off tail. They're relatively inconspicuous looking just with a gray body when you see them except when they take flight. When they take flight they have striking black and white markings on their wings. The birds I was watching today almost never took flight because one of the Willets strategies for avoiding predation and reacting when it's disturbed is to run rather than fly. And so all day long I saw willets running from beachcombers and beachgoers and not taking flight. When there's a willet, there's a way. Well, which way do these guys migrate? So the interesting thing about the willets in North America is that there are two subspecies and you'll see willets on both coasts. There's a western species and there's an eastern species. So I'm here on the east, right? So you think I'm looking at the eastern species. Well, this one is most likely a western species because according to my research, the eastern species leave this area of the beach in late August and fly to South America for the winter like many birds do. Some of the western birds fly to South America, but they'll also fly to the east coast. So my best guess here is that I'm looking at the western willet that's overwintering here in South Carolina beaches here in late October. Many of these western willets actually breed in what is known as the Great Basin, which is a large wetland in the west that covers and spans across four or five different states. They'll breed along the edges of pond and brush in the Great Basin region. So these western inland breeders, as well as some of the willets on the east coast that will also breed in inland marshes, they'll feed primarily on aquatic insects. When they're overwintering or they're on these shorelines, they're feeding on crustaceans like small crabs, fiddler crabs, and sand crabs, as well as mollusks that they find in the sand. And you can see that these willets will spend most of their day probing the sand along the shoreline, every now and then catching a fish in the shallow water. They seem to stay in the deeper water than will some of the smaller sandpiper-like birds, like these sanderling sandpipers. Willets could be easily confused with the sanderling sandpipers, but the willets are much larger, much more robust, and move much slower and more willing to wade in the water. The sanderling sandpipers will run up and down the beach, often in groups, racing a wave, running back as a wave recedes, and running forward. Apparently the willet beak and tongue are very sensitive to discovering organisms in the sand as you can see them constantly probing along 
on the bottom and finding things to eat. As I was watching these willets, it seemed as they got tired, they would retire higher up on the beach and plop themselves down and fold their legs underneath their body. I was watching a lot of the local seagulls and at rest, they're still standing on their feet. The willets had this habit of plopping right down in the sand and kind of hunkering down into it. And these resting willets, again, rather than flying up when they're disturbed, will take off running again. Both the willets and the Sanderling sandpipers are really fun to watch as they work the waves up and down the beach. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Nature at Your Door on the Road at North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, here right on the seashore. If you like what I do, please subscribe and give me a like. And keep in mind, that I cover all things nature. I have over 200 episodes now, and I cover everything from amphibians to reptiles, fungi to wildflowers, trees and insects, and so much more. Check out my playlist and see if you might find some topics that interest you. Thanks again for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door.